are going to Wastika, so we are going to run the wire checklist to decide which approach we're going to do. So we're going to get the weather at Wastika. Minus two, wind three, three, zero at seven, visibility one, zero, clear below one, two, thousand, temperature minus two, Celsius, dew point minus six, altimeter three, zero, one, six, all right, so we have the weather at Wasika. We're going to request Wasika Municipal the Airport. RNAV 33 into Wasika. So now we're going to program the approach into our GPS. So we're going to go procedure, select approach. We're going to do the RNAV 33. We're going to go direct Voyun. And we're going to activate the approach. So we have our instruments set, our radios are in, and now we are going to brief the approach. So we are going to do the RNAV-33 at Wasika. Our approach is current and valid. Our approach course is 332 degrees. Runway landing length is 3,399. Touchdown zone elevation is 1125. And our airport elevation is 1127. We have all of our frequencies in. We're going direct to Voyun, the initial approach fix. So we will be doing a procedure turn. It'll be a teardrop procedure turn. So what we're going to do is we're going to fly to Voyun. We're going to overfly the fix. We're going to turn to a heading of 122 degrees. We're going to fly that for four miles, and then we will turn inbound. It'll be a right turn inbound to intercept a 332 course inbound to Voyun. From Voyun, we can descend down to our final approach fix of Osme, 2,700 feet. From Osme, we'll descend down to our minimums of 1,480. Our missed approach point is going to be runway 33. If we don't have the runway in sight or the runway environment in sight or one mile of visibility, we will go missed. Our missed approach is going to be climb to 3,000, direct Wittud to hold. And the hold at Wittud appears to be a parallel entry. All right. So we're coming up on Voyun. So we are going to begin our parallel entry. So right now we're going to turn to our 122 heading. And we're going to fly this for four nautical miles. All right, so now we are inbound to our initial approach fix. So our course is alive. We're gonna start centering that, following it in. And then our initial approach fix checklist is going to be BC Gumps. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the fuel pump. Our alternate air is off. We just switched to our fullest tank. Our undercarriage is down and fixed. Mixture is full rich. Power is set and our seat belts are fastened. All right, so we have passed our initial approach fix. So we have descended down to 2,700, and now we are waiting to get to our final approach fix where we will begin our descent down to minimums of 1,480. We're coming up on our final approach fix, so time won't need, gear is down and fixed. Power descent. Power, I just made a radio call. Lights, I'm going to turn my landing light on and I'm going to click the airport lights on. And I'm going to bring in my first notch of flaps below 102 and in the wide arc. All right, I'm about 1,000 feet to my minimums. There's minimums, I'm gonna level off here until I either see the runway environment or I reach my missed approach point. There's my missed approach point, so I'm gonna go missed. 
diaphragm, climb, clean, take out the flaps, cool, and call. Wichita in state 47, going miss on the RNAV 33, Wichita. And if we were on with center, I would, of course, make a radio call to center to report that we have gone missed. And now I'm going to fly the published missed approach.